Colgate. Wade takes O'Grady in the boards. Giveaway by Colgate. Left wing circle, Brian Brutlock. Austin Smith trying to take the puck away. Now Corbin McPherson into lens support. Somebody lost a stick in that scrub. Bank pass back to Mike Bergen. Left point screenshot save. <laughs> Mahalik gave up the big juicy rebound and it was ripped right into the back of the net and RPI draws first blood a minute and 15 seconds into this game. One to nothing engineers, Marty O'Grady was all alone. Eric Mahalik had no chance whatsoever. He went down to block the low shot. O'Grady lifted it up and that was all started by Colgate just kind of falling all over itself trying to get the puck out of the zone. The Raiders had a deer in the headlights look. Watching the replay on the big board, nobody was marking O'Grady. He was untouched right there. And the fans screaming at Mahalik, it's all his fault. And Colgate, a nightmarish start here in the playoffs, down one to nothing. RPI, dump and chase on to face 21 against one another on the power play. Good body check, left wing corner by one of the Raiders. RPI clears the zone. And a penalty on Colgate. Jim McDonald with his arm in the air. McPherson will sit two minutes for boarding. It was kind of, or excuse me, broke out an offensive zone penalty for boarding. Broke out made a fairly nice body check. I think that was borderline. All that said, it's going to be four on four here. And broke out indeed for boarding as the call was 6.20 left to go in the first. The officials here changing the pass. Wagner, Wagner left wing side, tied up left circle. Day a big body check. Puck was tied up in somebody at the circle. Now Wagner punches somebody from behind nearly in the back of the helmet. Day is going to sit here, and that was just a not smart play by Colgate's captain. What was Brian Day thinking there? The puck was tied up. He then cross-checked an RPI player down. Wagner for punching an RPI player in the back of the head is going to go to the box, too. And what in the world were they doing? Day took a big body check from Foss. Day got back up looking for the puck. O'Grady was in the area. Day knocked him down to the cross-check in the chops. Then in the ensuing scrum, Wagner punched somebody in the back of the head. And what are Brian Day and Chris Wagner doing right there? Day is a senior captain. He knows well better than that. And Don Vaughn, all he can do is jam his hands in his pockets at this point. Day, Wagner, and Prokow now in the box. RPI is going to have a five on three here. And I think the discussion is going to be how they're going to uh, hand out all of these penalties right now. Back up. Higgs up top for Helfrich. Now Palachik. Backdoor play for Higgs, now up top, bailing off his skate. Smith diving, can't clear the zone, he lost his stick. Helfrich walks down the slot, right side, the score, Higgs. Smith lost his stick, blocking the shot, took himself out of the play. RPI to five on two, and Higgs rips it home, and Mahalik beside himself, Smith shoves the goal off the posts, and Colgate coming unglued here, it's now two to nothing, RPI. And it will continue to be an RPI power play because of the hit by Day. He will remain in the box. Credit Smith the heck of a job to block the shot, but once he lost the stick, he proverbially took himself out. Helfrich walked down the slot, dished it off to Higgs, who ripped home the one-timer. And Colgate playing perhaps its worst period of the season right now. Raiders looking silent on the bench again. The captain's in the penalty box for a... He's lost cycles to nobody. Colgate crisscrossed it, signals Smith under the nice play to keep the puck in. Day rammed someone along the wall, and he's going to go right back to the box, I think. Whistle stops play, 2.59 left in the first. Let's see who the call is on here. Looks like it's going to be right back on Day. He was hit, he gave the retaliation, and he's going to sit. Two fifty-nine left in the first. Day right back to the box. RPI third power play of the period. Day for roughing. Face off near side. Left, left wing side. Palachik. Palachik goal line left. Rabani. Rabani midpoint for Balin. Top to right circle. Helfrich back door. Palachik scores. And the route is on. It's now three to nothing. That was the set play. Palachik was waiting for it. They found him at RPI now. Choking the life out of Colgate. Three first period goals. The Raiders do not know what hit them. Two of them on the power play. Don Vaughn is speechless on the bench. I must say I am too. This is frankly not been what I think anybody expected. Colgate has come in here and, and been just kicked in the ribs, punched in the gut, you name it. 
It's three to nothing. RPI Mahalik will stay in. To get it now. Sins sloppy pass by Sins. Lee high slop watch it turn around. Try block by Smith. Bartlett the other way. Bartlett rush again. Try to split a double team. Picked up the puck. Fired. Save. Rebound. A score. Austin Smith has Adonis DNA. Colgate's on the board. It's RPI three. Colgate one. A transition goal right there. Sins got the puck on net. York made the initial save, but he gave up a big, juicy rebound to the off wing, and Smith there, Johnny on the spot to bury it for his ninth of the season. Smith with his sixth postseason goal for Colgate, and he had a quiet February. Didn't want to talk about it, but Austin won 4-5 in February. That's point number 98 for him. And if you go 0 for 5 on the power play and your opponent scores two power play goals, chances are you're going to lose. Reese Blount in the offensive zone, wheeling through traffic. Sharp angle shot. Smith with it open. That one-timer missed it. Reese Blount, goal line right. Out of the top of the right circle. Right point, Jeremy Price. Left wing side, Wade Poplowski. Midpoint, Price. RPI pressuring the puck. Bartleff in behind the net for Austin. Smith looking to center. Smith, goal line left. Midpoint, Price with a shot. And he scores! It's a power play goal. Jeremy Price with a minute 48 to go in regulation. Colgate is within one. It's RPI three, Colgate two. Tremendous puck movement by Colgate. Price finishes off the play with his third postseason goal. And oh boy, this one is going to come down to the wire. It's 148 to play, 3-2 RPI. Smith waited in behind. He saw Price creep into the top of the slot. Price had an open shooting lane, and he ripped it to the right of Allen York. And now Colgate Colgate. zone can't hold. All of a sudden, it's a two-on-one. Palachuk right wing side holding. Press and a score. That will do it. Colgate, a breakdown and transition defense. Higgs, all he had to do was stand next to Mahalik. A picture-perfect pass by Palachuk. And RPI is going to take game one. 109 to play in the third. It's RPI four, Colgate two. That will do it. Terrible transition defense. It could have happened out of nowhere. Palachik coming right down the right wing, kind of slow played the puck, allowing Higgs to skate in behind. Price did all he could to try and block the pass. It was a perfect pass, and Higgs tipped it in. And Colgate for the great comeback here is not going to be rewarded tonight. Tough break for the Raiders. Heck of a comeback. you got to love the effort, but unfortunately, because of the deficit early on, Smith be- fans on it, four seconds left. Roger got to the neutral zone, had the puck roll off his stick. One second, Brutwalk shooting from the red line. Game is over. And a fight is breaking out in front of the Colgate bench. Price getting after it with, well, somebody for RPI. The Raiders took exception to Brian Brutwalk shooting the puck from the red line with under one second left. Brutwalk was in the wrong part of town, and that's how the game ends tonight. Colgate, a frustrating four to two loss. Teams will not shake hands because this is game one, though should Colgate fall tomorrow night.